I was speaking to another person the other day and the conversation was going something like this. I said that this person, one of the family member is not well and that's why uh, that person could not attend the session. And the response came was, cool. <laughs> so the thing is, <clears throat> have you used the word cool or how many of the people you know use the word cool without any head or tail of it, without understanding where is it coming from, where they have taken it up, absorbed it and where they are actually putting it. As a leader, as an influencer, as a mentor, as a coach or even as parents, okay, as guardians, whatever it is, it is our responsibility what kind of words we use. I'll give you some examples. When you see something beautiful, a person who is so beautiful, a bird, a flower, anything, instead of saying beautiful, people have started saying it, it's so cool. If you're going for an adventure, okay, thrilling experience, they say it's so cool. If you're feeling sad and you'd say that I'm not feeling so good and I don't know what to do, it's all chill, it's so cool. You see, every expression that a human race has evolved over the last few centuries, last few hundred years, has been taken down into one single word without any meaning or weightage to it. And since last few days, when I was like, this was coming as a pattern of all the people I was talking to. And then Sadhguru's one of the videos popped up where I also <laughs> listened to one of the aspects that he shared absolutely amazingly. And that is, he shared that majority of the words typically that people use without understanding anything, head or tail of it, comes from typically an American toilet or American bedroom. And we imbibe that blindly without understanding what is the weightage of it, how it is going to impact and what kind of impact we are creating by using those words, right? Because in our country, we have approximately 1300 languages which has evolved over the centuries. Imagine in a blink of an eye, we smash all the expressions of and the meaning of those words which have evolved over such a period of time. Imagine that we start using the words like a headless chicken. Then what will happen to these amazing, beautiful words like Sanskrit, like other words that we use? Why can't we consciously imbibe things and consciously live a life? Because some people might say, what's there in a word? It's such a simple word. Well, try talking. Try not talking for one year and see how your life happens around you when you are there in a material world, when you are trying to make your living in this world. Words, words are, powerful. are powerful. Words, words are, are important. important. If you do not know how to consciously use the words, where to use it, how is it creating an impact? Maybe, you know. It is a moment where human race is evolving in terms of technology, infrastructure, architecture, everything. But human race is going backward in terms of consciousness, in terms of depth, in terms of understanding what is happening. So the choice is in your hands. Do you want to live a life which has been just blindly taken from other people and without understanding you put that word every now and then here and there? Or you want to live a conscious life, making it worthwhile with a depth. Because human, human beings, beings are the are only species, species on the, on the planet, planet who are capable of doing, doing it. it. And recently when I was also in a meeting, having a conversation, when I said thank you, the response came was cool instead of welcome. So it is so funny that people are nowadays imbibing things from other people just because they are constantly hearing from other people. Not knowing where this is coming from, what is the culture it is coming from and where exactly are you using it? So, if we want to make our own life, if we want to make our own destiny, if we want to paint the picture of our amazing dream life, we need to conduct our life consciously because it's in our hands and to do that consciously you need to have a little bit of patience little bit of depth 
in terms of understanding little bit of wisdom and most importantly a conscious effort to understand where you are putting what you are putting okay so think about it